next stop is on the radar radio. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Yeah. What has been uh, your favorite moment of the tour? Uh, hmm. Damn, that's a crazy question. Uh, it's a tough question. I like when. On the second show, I jumped in the crowd. That shit was crazy as fuck. Where was that at? Uh, St. Petersburg, Florida. Goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> then, um, where else was fucking crazy? Oh, uh, L.A. was fire. Uh-huh. They had my smoke fucked up, but I think that was sick because, like, I was like, why the fuck my smoke ain't working? I was tripping, like, on, like, everybody. So it looked kind of like, I don't know. I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> was the New York, the New York show tonight, right? Yeah. I'm excited? Mm-hmm. You're going to kill it, right? What? Where's it at tonight? Uh, The Knockdown Center. Ooh. Queens. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right on the way. Yeah. Now, have you ever done Knockdown Center? Hell no. Nah. Dope-ass venue. Super random. I saw Cardi B there on New Year's like three, four years ago. That's crazy as fuck. But the Knockdown Center is like, it's one of, it's, I'll, I'll tell you that it's perfect for mosh pits. Say less. <laughs> That's fine. With, um, with on the tour, right? Like, there was also some other video I saw people like throwing things on stage. You deal with that a lot? Hell yeah, niggas throw some shit on stage every night. And like, I ain't gonna lie, I'd be cool with that shit. <laughs> Sorry, we have a chaotic work environment. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be cool with that shit for the most part. But it's like now, like, definitely getting deeper into my tour and how I'm trying to take my career and my shows. Like, yeah. it's kind of like, like, I've been noticing how, like, all right, if you look at shows from, like, back in the day, like, niggas had their hands up. Now when I look at my pictures and shit, it's just a whole bunch of phones and shit. And mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know if I fuck with that. And then that night, a nigga hit me with some shit in my knee. And I don't like getting hit with nothing. So I had to let niggas know, stop throwing shit at me or on the stage for a second, please, so I could perform. Because like, I'm still like an artist and you came to watch me perform. Right. Not, like, to sound like you can't, like, and niggas can do whatever the fuck they want in my show. But like, just respect me at least. Right. With, um, you, what hit you? you? A fucking iPhone right in my knee. Like, Dude, that iPhone at your wet, knee? Bro, that shit hurt like fuck. And I made sure they felt that shit. So give a fuck how anybody feel about this shit. But uh, what you said about, like, people holding up their phones at the show, right? Like how, you know, like you said, you used to go to shows, people used to have their hands up. It's funny, because I've actually been thinking about that a lot recently, too, especially when I go to, like, Rolling Louds, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, New York. Everybody got their phones out. And recently, what I've been trying to do is when I go to shows, I try to, like, Block my phone away in my pocket, zip up yeah. the pocket. Like, just try to like enjoy it and be more present in the moment because the videos is cool, but then like you don't have the actual memories of, of the show. watching the show. But yeah. it's also like you said, like uh, with the fucking video game shit. It is 2022. Everybody do got a fucking phone, so True. it's like you can't record a video of this shit. And if that's what you do, that's what you do. But I want people to like enjoy my show for the show mm-hmm. too, not to just post whatever the hell might happen when I'm on stage or whatever weird ass shit they finna say or. Generally, just get me to do a video for them so they can have it on their phone or whatever. Like, just rock out. Right. I feel like um, the word we've been using a lot this week here, because we have done a lot of interviews, is like people feel, whether it's your time, or in this case, people feel entitled. Entitled is the word to like, you taking a video of them, like you taking their phone and doing the video. You yeah, know what I'm saying? definitely, definitely. But it's also to like, also like kind of go back on what I'm saying. It is definitely just a whole bunch of love too. So I don't want nobody to feel like weird about it. Because right. like, if I feel like if I was a kid right now, I'd definitely be like, bro, can this nigga record me? Especially if that's what niggas is doing. But it's like, it's it's still like, I don't know. It's, it got to be a balance to everything, I feel like. So let's create that balance. Let's turn it to a love thing. What has been your favorite fan experience of this show, of this uh, tour? My bad. I was in Target, bro. Like, I, was, I don't know where the fuck I was at, but I was just getting some drawers and some soap. <laughs> and I had asked this girl, I was like, yo, where, um, I think it was deodorant. I was like, where the specific type of deodorant at? Yeah. And at first she was like, Oh, he's right there. And then she was like, oh. And then she started screaming. And then she FaceTimed her friends and shit. And I never <laughs> I never experienced no shit like that. That shit fucked me up. That shit was fire. She realized it was you. Yeah. That's fire, man. That shit was crazy. See? Look, we bounced it out. We got the positive. We got the positive. I love all my fans. It's just like, y'all nigga, I'm, bro, I'm a human too. Nigga one got them. Throw some shit at me. I'm throwing it right back. We, uh, we family though.